Good morning, you guys. So today is a really exciting day. It's finally like warming up here in Minnesota and we are going to be prepping the camper today. So me and then Kaya because my husband is actually going to my brother's bachelor party today and he is going to be away for most of the day. So I'm gonna take it into my hands to start like slowly prepping the camper or the RV, whatever you guys wanna call it. Um, Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm like so pumped to like finally like, ooh, just get out and like be in like the trees and by the lake with a margarita in my hand. I'm so ready. So anyways, I'm gonna take you guys along and I'm gonna show you like what I do to like prep the camper not like dewinterize it because like that's Mike's thing but as far as um, like getting like the blankets and the clothes and like unpacking everything out of the bins that are in there right now um, it's gonna be quite the process but um, I'm very excited to bring you guys with me today also I did just want to mention too um, I have been getting like tons of stuff in from Amazon lately. Um, if you guys want to see like an Amazon haul, leave a comment down below. I've been just like stocking up on summer items for me and for the kids just because I found this like, I don't want to call it like a hack, but like there's like a ton of boutiques out there, like kids clothing boutiques especially, that sell the like, it seems like they like warehouse their items from China and they like mark them up quite a bit and Amazon sells them pretty much directly for like half the cost. So anyways, um, yeah, I am, I've been like, I've really been like stocking up on like some really cute like boutique-y um, items from Amazon for especially Riker. So leave a comment down below if you wanna see a haul of all that stuff. All right, but before we get down to the camper today, I need to do some straightening up in here. The house is a complete mess from the week because we're so crazy during the week. So I am going to straighten up this main level. I'm sorry if I look really crazy. I'm like bronze it's because I just did a self tanner and I'm like letting that develop <laughs> um, during the day today and then I'll like rinse it off tonight. So if I look like a little crazy bronze goddess, that's why. Questioning all of my motives for the day. I'm so tired, you guys. I just have no energy. I like maybe I should make a nice coffee. Maybe that would help. Um, I just got done pumping again, and I cleaned the entire main floor, and like I vacuumed, and I mopped, and I cleaned all the counters and the table, and I'm just now giving Riker a bottle, and it's 
so tired. I just like have no energy to do anything. So I'm thinking maybe I need to just get off my bum and get myself a nice coffee and get things going. Oh, someone that wants to be my friend. Hello. Oh. I just had an old friend from high school text me. He asked me and Mike if we want to go get some get some adult drinkage. Sounds kind of nice, actually. Um, well, time for an iced coffee, and then I'll touch base a little bit. I I don't know. Like, do any of you other like mamas? Do you ever like? I don't know. Just every once in a while, just want to get out of the house, and you're like, you know what? I need a parents' night out. That's kind of how I feel right now. Like, I just need a parents' night out. Maybe like a reset, like a social reset, would be really good for my soul right now because I'm just like, I'm like a little kid's snack bizzo. That's what I am. <laughs> just keeping it real. I look like a hot mess. But at least my makeup's done and I really need to wash this bronzer off because I I think I look like I've been in Mexico for a week. So um, I'm not hating on it. Um, I get a lot of questions like on my Instagram on like what I do for myself, Tanner. Um, and actually, I think I, I put it in here on my mommy pamper routine, but... Um, when I do my um, self tanner, I will not do it any, like I do it from like here up, right? So that it's like not on my chest area. I don't know if it's like safe um, for, for like pumping, but I know for sure like not while breastfeeding. Um, so I assume the same for pumping since like the phalanges like touch that area and yeah so anyway um i just like don't do it around my breast area um to be safe so just because like a self tanner has dha in it and i don't really know all the things but just to be safe i don't <laughs> oh mickey mouse oh toodles me one more time and i might lose my brain um Okay, so just real quick while I'm making a nice coffee, I want to tell you guys um, how it's going on like my weight loss and um, my diet and breastfeeding. In my breast, um, my pumping 101 video, I mentioned to you guys I've been doing keto um, while I've been pumping, and yes, my supply is staying up really nicely and I have been losing weight like crazy which I'm very happy with now remember if you guys are going to be doing any kind of diet like this any diet change like this make sure that your doctor is on board um I did mention it to my doctor when I saw him at my six week that I was going to um start hang on I mentioned to him that I was going to start doing keto again. Again, he was comfortable with me doing it while I was pregnant. Is there something on my, no, it's on the screen. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was comfortable with me doing keto while I was pregnant just because I um, was like in the overweight BMI while I was pregnant. And um, yeah, and baby did, he did really well. He grew super great um, during my pregnancy. I felt really good. My health was really good. My blood pressure was always super great. Um, so, anyways, he was more than okay with me doing keto as long as like I kept my calories up. And same with my lactation consultant. I and I don't like talk to her much anymore um, now that things are going okay. But um, but yeah. So when I when I was talking to her, I kind of mentioned to, mentioned it to her as well. I've joined some like keto pregnancy, keto mommy um, Facebook pages and I've gotten a lot of advice from other mamas on there. Um, and what I've learned is that it's just really important to keep your fats up and to also um, make sure that you're getting enough calories. So I don't want myself to be in too much of a deficit as far as calories. So I do have like 1800 to 2000 calories a day and um, a lot of those calories right now are coming from healthy fats like avocados, avocado oil, nuts, and seeds, and um, I'll have eggs, but, um, and I try not to do like a ton of, ton of animal fat, like bacon, although I had like four pieces of bacon this morning, 
But anyways, um, yeah, so it's been going really well. Um, as of this morning, let's see, so I can tell you. Just in the last week, I've lost five pounds, and which is pretty incredible. I feel like um, I had plateaued when I was, um, like over Easter and like eating all the Easter foods and things like that. Um, I had plateaued my weight loss. In fact, I went up about five-ish pounds. So I've lost that um, and then some because I lost a couple pounds last week as well. So I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I see my OB on Monday or Tuesday. Ty is riding around naked on her mini mouse airplane. <laughs> um, I go on Monday or Tuesday for my next checkup with my OB and I'm gonna like flex it a little bit. I'm pretty excited to like show that I've lost quite a bit of weight since I've lost, seen him last time. Last time I had just like lost all the pregnancy weight and now I am even lower than that. So I'm just, I'm very excited. So as of like where I am currently, I have, 25 more pounds before I'm at where I was um, at my wedding day and then um, on like in addition to that I want to lose another 40 and then I would be the smallest that I have been since like ninth grade so like 65 pounds in total I originally my my goal was like 60 and um, I just I want to push myself I really and it it's not about like the numbers on the scale per se I just want to get myself into a healthy BMI and be able to wear shorts for the first time since like middle school I've been like terrified to wear shorts and I just see all of these like cute outfits and these cute jean shorts and these cute jeans and I just like I want to I want to get there like I just want to be in a healthy BMI and wear all the cute clothes So by no means is this like I want to be as skinny as possible This is just I want to feel good in my body again after having two kiddos um, We don't plan to have our third until we're actually like I'd like to have um, a straggler because I think we're only gonna have one more baby and I'd like him or her to like be kind of like the straggler and like have him or her when I'm like 32 33 um, and I'm 20 six right now like, I don't know how old I am um, I'm like 26 right now so I want to wait until I'm in my 30s to have my last um, so yeah that's I just want to like enjoy those years in between like Riker and then our next baby just get to the most fit healthy place I can be and enjoy fashion again like it's really hard for me to enjoy fashion when I don't like look good in, in the clothes that I want to wear. So anyway, and, and no, by no means do I body shame myself. I still feel confident like when I go for a night out with my husband, go on like a date night. I still feel very beautiful and confident. I'm just doing this for my health um, and to boost my confidence in like some of the clothes that I want to wear. I want to wear some of those cute high-waisted jean shorts and like tuck my shirt in with a little cardigan on top and have like nice Carrie Underwood legs. So anyways, so that is the next um, chapter in my journey. Kaya's trying to escape. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> okay, somebody fall to sleep. Let's go put you in your crib. Mr. Man is 12 weeks old today. He'll be officially three months on the 9th. And Kaya's trying to let the dogs out, so I'm gonna go deal with that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch our motive for the day. And um, it's just kind of gloomy and cold outside. And Kaya's like tummy's been hurting and I'm just like not feeling motivated to go out to the camper. I'll go show you guys the camper, but I'm not going to clean it today. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm very like red right now. I'm thinking I will probably um, record my camper cleaning video here tomorrow. It's supposed to be a lot warmer, so I'll record that for you guys tomorrow. Like I said, I'll at least like show you guys what the camper looks like, but um, I think we're going to make some um, keto soup, and then I think we're just gonna hang out, and I am turning Mickey Mouse off because I'm losing my mind. Yes, honey? Um, what's my, what's my friend? Um, are they playing at the park? 
Um, no, his his at school. Oh, are they at school? Yeah. Oh, yep. Your friends are at school. Check out those sunglasses. Meow. You saw me. A zombie. <laughs> Where is the zombie? Zombie? A zombie? <laughs> That's scary. No, it's not. It's a nice zombie. Oh, it's a nice zombie, huh? Mommy, look at it. It's a big TV. That's a big TV. Yeah, it's Mickey Mouse on it. Yeah. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Let's watch it home. Okay, let's watch it. All right, so I'm finally starting the soup, and I did like a half an onion because this was like a pretty big onion. Actually, I probably did like three quarters of it. And then my ground turkey is just finishing defrosting, and I'll add that to this, grind it up, and then cook that all the way through, and then I add the rest of my ingredients. Very, very easy, simple soup to make. It takes me like 30 minutes, you guys. Okay, so now I've added my green pepper and that can of Rotel. And I add that before I do um, like the liquids just so that the meat can really like soak up all the yummy flavors and be delicious, you know? So, yeah, okay. I'm gonna let this cook, let the green peppers cook down a little bit, and then I will add the rest of my ingredients. I also wanted to mention that I did add a little bit of this taco mix and um, some nature seasons. This is like my go-to like general seasoning for everything. Um, this talk mix is from like a local restaurant. They sell it in all the like the local grocery stores from where I'm from, but you can just use your favorite taco mix or like a homemade taco mix. Sometimes, actually most of the time I'll do like a homemade taco mix, but this is like a new favorite of mine and it's easier. But anyways, just use your favorite taco seasoning on there. Just a queen, being a queen in her Easter dress. <laughs> All right, so I have now added like about five cups of water and then um, this broth that I use. This is not the usual one, I, usual one I use. I usually use the Nor chicken broth, but I couldn't find it at my grocery store, so I just got this one instead. Um, it's okay, but um, it's just two teaspoons of that chicken broth base per cup of water. Um, so I did that and um, now I'm just gonna kinda let that boil through, let all of the broth seasoning dissolve, and then I might add a little bit more of this taco mix seasoning. Um, and then the very last thing that you do is you add a block of cream cheese. So after you add the cream cheese, you can kinda see like there's like some chunks floating in there. You might not be able to get all those out, but I'll just sit here with a whisk for a while and really give it a good mix to make sure that all those little chunks like dissolve no melt <laughs> melt into the soup alrighty so I've got Kaya's all served up and I put a couple ice cubes in there I give her mostly broth because that is what she likes um, but yeah she loves soup and I know she's going to love this too here you go taco soup soup and tacos mixed which are like your two favorite things look at she's like I'm in I'm in now and there is mine all served up. Um, I forgot to mention too, if you guys don't want like a creamy version of this soup, you can leave out the cream cheese or the coconut milk entirely and just kind of have it be like a regular broth based um, taco soup. But yes, this is very good, low carb. The only carbs are going to be your tomatoes and your green peppers in here. And then um, a little bit from the onions too, but there is not much in here for carbs and it is super yummy and filling. It's especially nice for like a day like today where it's only 45 degrees outside. It's kind of gloomy. It's a very gloomy, cold spring day. So this is a perfect low carb soup to like ease you into your summer bod, but then also still have like the comfort on a cold, chilly day. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, I like it to you. It's the best. Thanks. I made it. Super good. I, I love it. it. I made it for myself. Well, this turned into a very, like, narrative video. Um, it started out with me wanting to show you the camper. And honestly, guys, it is really cold outside, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait and show you it tomorrow. So I hope you don't mind. But, um, I am 
going to show you guys how I curl my hair. So I get a lot of questions as to like how I do my hair. Um, I get a lot of compliments on it, which I love getting compliments on my hair. I've worked so hard to get it like to like the healthy state that it's in, to the color that it's at, um, and to get it to the length that it's at right now. It's really long. Um, so I'm gonna tell you guys first off that when I shower, so I showered this morning, um, I let it air dry. And then usually after I let it air dry all day, um, right now it's almost four o'clock. So right before um, he wakes up and I have to pump again, I'm gonna go curl it. Um, so um, if this was like a work night, like a work week night, then I would like leave it like kind of like wet and let it air dry on my way to work. It's usually dry enough so I don't look like a like a wet mop when I get there. Plus I have my own office and like nobody sees me anyway. But um, I will let it dry while I'm at work and then when I get home, like after I put the kids to bed, that's when I'll curl it. And then my curls stay for um, quite a few days as long as I like hairspray it and I use the right product. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I do um, for my hair routine. Again, like I get my hair colored um, like every six weeks and I just, I always highlight the top. Um, and then we will tone it so that it's like ashy. Um, we'll either do like a purple or a blue toner. And then right now I'm using a blue um, conditioner. If you've never used a blue conditioner before, I've always used like purple shampoo. Um, but right now I'm using a blue conditioner to keep the brassiness out. Um, and then she always like, she does such a good job. Um, I never want it to look like it's like not natural. Um, I really like that like fade from my natural color um, to the blonde. And then underneath, we always leave um, my natural hair color. And it took years, like two, three years, to get my hair to grow all the way um, the hair color. Because I used to color it like underneath as well. And, um, and now I just always leave it natural just because I feel like, I don't know, I just, I, mm, I like it a lot better. My hair always stays in better shape when I don't do my entire head. Like it's just so soft. But, um, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna show you guys my um, hair curling routine real quick. Okay, so I hope this is an okay angle for you guys. I've got you really like wound up on my shelf here. But, um, so the first thing that I do is I like pull my hair back in half um, and then I'll do the bottom layer first and then I'll do the second layer. Um, I don't have super thick hair, so if you do have thick hair, I would recommend doing more than two layers, but um, I'm completely out of ponytails. They all died and went to ponytail heaven, wherever that may be. Um, so I'm gonna be using one of Kaya's headbands. I know, mom life. So I'm just gonna like part it, I just part it like in half. So just kind of feel for like the middle of my head. I take my thumbs and then I'll just bun up the top. All right, okay, um, I had to adjust you guys so you could see a little better. So the curling iron that I use is just a one inch bed head. I've had it forever. Um, I've always wanted to get like one of the hot tools ones, but this is what I have for now. I also have a one and a half inch. I'd like to get the next size up to so like the size in between. There's a one inch, one and a quarter inch, and the one and a half things all over my shirt. Sometimes black is like not the best idea with kids. So um, what I will do first is I will give it a good layer with um, the bedhead um, head brush. The next thing that I do to like ensure that my curls are going to stay for a few days because this mama likes to have her curls last for at least three days, I'll dry shampoo in between. Um, oh, that's nice, I just got stuff on my shirt. Okay, so the next thing that I'll do is I'll go in with my um, Masterpiece hairspray. These are just products that I've used forever, you guys. Um, I think that they smell really good and that's honestly why I use them. Um, all right, so after I have sprayed my hair, I will brush through it. So basically all this is giving me is like a little bit of a texture, a little bit of a hole. There's some product in there. It's not going to be crunchy after you brush through it and it makes it easier to curl too. Um, but this way it just gives um, you a little bit of product for your hair to hang onto the curl. Okay, so then what I will do is I will take my hair in the back and I'll split it in half again like this. And then I'll just curl each side 
Um, usually this takes me less than 10 minutes, but because I'm talking to you guys, of course it's going to take forever. So, um, and then I just point my curling iron down and then wrap my hair around. And depending on the curl look that I'm going for, sometimes I will like alternate towards my face away, towards my face away. Um, but most days you want to make sure that you are um, curling away from your face. So if I do the curl my face like towards away, towards away, that's going to give me more of a beachy look versus if I do them all in the same direction away from my face. Um, it should... Um, it should look a little bit more of like a classic curl because that's that's what I would call it anyways I'm not a professional by any means but this is just how I curl my hair okay <laughs> oh yeah self tans looking nice and splotchy right about now okay and again away from my face I'm getting all the Instagram DMs right now. I should probably silent that. And I just kind of let those fall and hang out for a minute. And I switched over to the other side. Now when I'm grabbing pieces, I don't know. I guess I just, I kind of just eye it now. This is about as big of a section that I will take. Remember that the smaller the section, the smaller the curl, the tighter the curl. Um, when you're done, there's going to be more wave versus I like more of just like one big solid wave in my hair and for it to be very like like voluptuous i guess you would say just to like make sure that it's all flowing the same way that I want it to. I've really like combed through it to make sure it doesn't look crazy. I really like that like uniform look like this. I don't want a bunch of like squiggly curls hanging out. I just want all like one very beautiful wave. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back. Again, if I'm going out, I might do this look a little bit differently. Um, might go like a little bit more crazy but for an everyday look especially when this is probably going to fall a little bit um i will just keep it nice and loose the more natural the better wash this bronzer off my arms because i'm starting to look a little crazy well we haven't had any baby footage today which is bizarre well maybe just a little bit but we need some more say hi bub say hello i just woke up I just woke up. <laughs> Aren't his eyes getting so blue, you guys? Oh, I think he has my eyes. Do you have my eyes? Do you have my eyes? He's like, just feed me, mom. <laughs> We've been working lots on tummy time lately. And he is getting super good at holding his head up. <gasps> a strong boy. That's a strong boy. <laughs> Still mad at me. Are you still mad at me? You're just yelling at me. You're not even sad. You're flipped around now. You're just super. Oh, tell me about it. Are you mad, boy? I don't like tummy time, mommy. I know, but we got to build those muscles nice and strong. You like that mirror? Look at those little legs. Kick and kick and kick. Kick and kick and kick. 
Hi. All right, I'm gonna end the vlog there for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's really random video. I hope you guys enjoyed the random video um, and my crazy life. This is like a calm day in my crazy life. And it was very much so needed. You are such a goofball. Okay, I will see you guys on Tuesday for an Amazon haul and I'm super, super excited about all of the things that are coming in. I've got like baby clothes, I've got summer clothes and jewelry, all the good things. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday for an Amazon haul. Okay, bye you guys. What a wonderful world.